Lots of people are settling into the first day of the new year with hopes that it will be better than 2020. But as our 13 News reporter Natalie Wattis explains, one group in Ohio is ringing in the new year in a very different way. Natalie? Merrily, the American Legion Post number 23 in Portsmouth has taken on a decades-long tradition of people making a big splash on New Year's Day to raise money for a good cause. 2020 is officially over, and people are celebrating that in all sorts of ways. Some in Portsmouth thought, what better way than to plunge into the Ohio River. I'm having a polar bear plunge today. First off, if you think it's too cold, you, maybe you're too old, but we want to do freezing for a reason, getting wet for a rest home vet. We're not just a bunch of crazy people. We're a bunch of crazy people doing some fun and good things. The day started with the plungers gathering at the American Legion Post 23 in anticipation. I think I'm just going to run and jump in. And then heading over to the Ohio River to make their big splash. Three, two, one. This is the 21st year Sam Simon has been putting together this polar plunge. They give all proceeds to different charities each year. And this year, it's for a cause close to this American Legion Post's heart. The one that's fondest to my heart is the Jim Sadler Memorial Award. That man went above and beyond the call of duty for our rest home vets and our local veterans and, and others as well. So we like to try to give to that. Spirits were high and embraces were warm even if everything else was freezing. It's not really cold, I can't see on my feet. <laughs> but if one thing's for sure about this frigid tradition, it's this. Been through the rain, the snow, the ice, nothing will stop us, high water, low water, we're going. Organizers of the event say they were touched by the community support for this event and the cause it benefits and hope to continue this tradition for years to come. In the studio in Huntington, I'm Natalie Wattis, 13 News, working for you. All right, Natalie, thanks so much for that report.